Today is uh, today's game day. Well, it's actually a scrimmage day. But I'm taking today as like it would be a real game. So I'm gonna go through essentially what I would do on a normal game. Everything from the morning routine to what I do during the day to how I eat, hydrate, how I get my body and mind ready for a game. Um, share with you guys what that process looks like and also basically like remind my body that hey, we're getting into season now. So let's start building those habits. Let's start building that routine. Um, so then next weekend when game one hits, I'm already primed, I'm already ready, and my body's already used to, to doing all these things every single day. Um, no, I'm excited. So I'm gonna take you guys back to, to what happened first thing this morning through the morning routine, and then we'll go through our day. So let's get after it. All right, guys. The next, the next thing we do, we jump in something really, really cold. So right now my pool is at like, I want to say it's low 40s. Um, that's what it feels like. And so I'm gonna jump in and tell you guys why we're doing something cold every single morning. Cold plunge every morning is an actual game changer. But I'll be honest, it's not fun and it's definitely not an easy thing to do. But what it does for your mind and body is wonders, and that's why I do it. It'll give you a huge sustained release of dopamine. The studies are saying like a four hour release. It'll boost your energy levels, improve your immune system, and it'll just make you guys feel alive. So I highly recommend this. All right, breakfast time. <clears throat> so today on the menu, game day, do some eggs, um, probably fruit smoothie. I don't know, I keep it light on game days. Ooh, I got mango. Are these ripe? We'll try some mango, see if it's good. So we'll do some banana, uh, mango, blueberries, and uh, probably some coconut water in my smoothie. Um, I don't eat heavy on game days. I like to feel super light, super fresh. I oh, know that's about like a cup. We'll do banana. Um, if I eat a lot, then I just feel heavy. Um, also, I feel like I'm brain dead if I eat too much on game days. I'd rather feel hungry than full when I'm playing. And I've always been that way. Um, oh no, it's like survival of the fittest. You gotta go, you gotta go hunt for your food. So that's some coconut water. Uh, yeah, we can have a little milk. Do I need milk? No, I don't need milk. And then sweeten it up a little bit. Pure maple syrup. Boom. And then, yeah, I'll have like uh, four eggs. Get my protein in. I'm going to show you guys how to crack eggs, okay? I don't know where I learned this. Knife, uh, the non-sharp side, oh, sh smack, boom. It's actually a cheat code. And I know some people are like, oh, whatever, use one hand, you're not that skilled. Well, you know what? Doesn't matter how you do it. Two plus two equals four, three plus one equals four. Multiple ways to do things in life, guys, but this is a pretty easy way. <clears throat> so, smoothie, eggs, Heart and soil, sorry, heart and soil uh, beef organ supplements. Right now it's 9 a.m. Game's at 7. Schedule for the rest of the day is I'm going to hit the sauna and the red light bed at 10. I got a call with one of my mentors at 12. We got activation and primer 250. Pre game meal at 320. And then uh, warm up will probably start. I think it's like six eighteen, um, something like that. And then um, games at seven. So yeah, let's crack on. All right. So game days. We get in the sauna for about twenty to twenty five minutes. Um, if it wasn't a game day, I'm usually in here for thirty to thirty five. I just I love getting in. It loosens my body up. It help, especially it helps my lower back because I'm still dealing with like the herniated disc. Um, good sweat. 
good tea talks um, and then I hydrate while I'm doing it so there's never an issue with getting dehydrated but for me it just makes me feel mentally and physically great um, it's like jet fuel to the brain you just feel so good after and so um, if I do it on almost every day I train then I should continue doing it just you know on a game day I shouldn't change my routine up so yeah we'll sit in here for another 15 20 more minutes we'll get out we'll go home we'll start relaxing we'll have biggest meal of the day which is going to be lunch today and then uh yeah we'll get into our primer our activation and start getting ready for game all right it's lunch time so we'll do some grapes we got chicken thighs and we're gonna do some rice get some carbohydrates in before okay i need a bowl So, some rice, chicken, rice, microwave it up, and there you go. So, so. 12.30, game's at 7. I'll eat now, and then I'll probably have my last meal. I think it's on at like 3.30, or team meal, which would just be a little snack. Um, so yeah, fueled up now. And I'm ta ta counting down, ticking down the time, the clock, until it's kickoff. So now it's 3.30, we assemble at the local golf course, and we just do a walkthrough, team meeting, um, we eat lunch, people who need to see the trainers see the trainers and then around 5 30 we depart for the stadium before the games i like to just kind of feel the grass see what the weather is like walk around and then it's it's getting ready for game time so i'll see you guys afterwards all right guys game is over we got the dub um that was a great day great night great atmosphere preseason game checked off um it was just a good good night um uh, good Good way, honestly, to start the year. Um, it wasn't perfect, and we, we knew it wasn't going to be perfect, but there was a lot of good moments, and then the beaut beautiful thing about it is tomorrow and then going into the next game, we just we look at the moments that weren't so good, what you know, the ones that we wish we could get back, and, and we just figure out why they went wrong and, and how we can improve on them for next week. You know, that's the game, and that's the life, and so it's good to have today on our belt, um, go through the motions, go through the game day routine, get my body and mind ready to go compete next weekend um, for game one in Dallas. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, as always, I hope you guys, you know, like it, you know, subscribe to the chase, subscribe to my channel. And then in the comments, just let me know like what other types of videos you guys want to see. You know, is it an off day video? Is it, you know, more so like how I'm recovering as an athlete or, or, you know, the mindset that I have as an athlete, just, I'd love to hear your guys's piece and take on that. Um, Thank you guys so much for following. I hope you enjoy and until next time. See ya.